I am Dr. Vishwanath Gauraya. I am consultant pediatric pulmonologist. Today I am going to talk about uh, snoring in children. So what is snoring and when the parents need to worry about the snoring and what are the groups of children who have more problem if they are snoring and what uh, the doctors are going to do how to assess the issues with the snoring. To start with what is snoring? Snoring is the noise, the harsh noise which uh, we all generate uh, when we sleep that so happens because uh, this part of the body what we call as pharynx this is the area which is made up of made up of muscles these muscles will relax in all of us both the children and adults when we are sleeping so the air which moves in and moves out of this uh, area which is relaxed makes the noise so when the child is snoring, almost 15 to 20 percent of the children do snore normally. So it is a common issue. So of this, three to four children will have a problem uh, uh, because the uh, when their muscles is so relaxed, they struggle to breathe and they actually stop breathing at the time for few seconds, maybe 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 seconds. So at this time, the concentration of the oxygen in the blood goes down. And hence, the blood supply to the all part of the body, uh, like the vital organs, mainly the brain, which is still active in the children when we are uh, when the children are sleeping, and other part of the vital organs of the body, like the heart, lungs, uh, the liver, also will have a low oxygen supply. So because of this, the child's uh, both the mental and the physical health uh, will suffer if we are not looked after these kind of children. So they normally don't present as a complete stopping in the breathing like in adults. However, they will have more problems in the daytime. Say to, for example, they struggle to wake up in the morning and they want to sleep. They don't want to get ready to the school and they do struggle in the school with the lack of activity or lack of concentrating on what the teachers are telling. Usually teachers pick up uh, these kind of uh, children, tell the parents that your child is uh, either uh, lack of concentration in the school, not learning as uh, compared to other children and uh, is uh, feeling sleepy in the daytime and don't want to participate in the activity. And, uh, or they will be very irritable, they are uh, having uh, behavioral changes uh, compared to other uh, children or compared to their own uh, standards as before. So these are the main things what you as a parent or as a teacher will notice and let the parents know. So these are the uh, symptoms which we need to worry about saying uh, they may have a problem with the sleep. And some children do can have a bed wetting which starts again once they have attained uh, control of the bladder. So these are the patient you need to worry about. And there are certain group of children who definitely we need to worry about when they are snoring are one, the children with the allergies and uh, asthma, the children who are obese and uh, who have constant or uh, repeated viral infections because the tonsils and adenoids will go up in size and the airway is uh, relaxing and the tonsil and, um, the tonsil and adenoids are also pressing on the airway. So these are the uh, group of the children. Some children with the genetic conditions uh, such as a neurological problem where the airway uh, muscles will relax more and the children with the Down syndrome for example who have a low muscle tone to start with so they will have more problem uh, when they are sleeping and uh, overall the sleeping issues cause the low level of the oxygen in the blood which will be supplied to the, all the vital organs which impact uh, on the development uh, both the physical and the mental development uh, of the child. So what does the doctors uh, do uh, when the children uh, um, having the snoring issue or possibly they are stopping to breathe. So we do a study what we call it as a sleep study. It is mainly looking into uh, the brain wave pattern in the child to look at the sleep stages to make sure they are having a good quality of sleep and then we monitor the oxygen level in the blood, the heart rate, the leg movement because many of these children who snore will be thrashing around in the bed and they won't uh, be fresh in the morning. Then we also look at the snoring pattern 
how they are snoring or whether they are stopping to breathe. So these are the things we monitor and then we look at all the picture what they do in the night time and then we will make assessment uh, with uh, what type of help this uh, child will need and we will be able to counsel the parents. Uh, so in bottom line or in summary snoring is common but the snoring can have an impact on the oxygen level in the blood which can have an impact on the both the development the physical and the mental development of the child which needs to be assessed appropriately by a trained doctor who can look after children with the sleep problems thank you very much